hello everyone welcome to my channel now in this video we are going to make live monitoring system for coronavirus cases and dates and display it onto the liquid crystal display this little tracker will help you to up to date about coronavirus outbreak and cases situation in the world for making this project you only need one ESP8266 board and liquid crystal display so let's get started for configuring liquid crystal display with Arduino, kindly visit my channel where I upload some getting started video for that. Now we need to connect LCD with node MCU and the connection are look something like this. Now note that the third pin of LCD which is the contrast pin where many of users connect the potentiometer and they don't know that the 1 kilo ohm resistor to the ground work very nice so I prefer that. Also do not use pin D0 and D8 of node MCU because it causes problem while uploading a program. After making all the connection it looks like this. I make all connection in general purpose board. I suggest you to make connection like this and do not use stupid breadboard and loose jumper wires. Now let's jump to the coding part. This is the code for our project. Here you need to include this much library. Also you need to make changes in code. First of all give your SSID name and password here. So the node MCU get connected to the internet. And here you need to provide your HTTP link. This is the heart of the code. As of now we are looking for coronavirus data. So go to the website called worldometer.info. Go to the coronavirus update and select the number of cases click the right button and go to the inspect now right click in the inspect and copy x path now search for the thingspeak.com i already logged into my account but you need to make an account here then go to the app and select things http click on new thing http here you can give any name of your request let's name as covid19 cases now scrolling down and here in parse string section paste the x part you just copied Now copy the URL of Worldometer website and paste it in URL section. And click to save thing HTTP. And this is the URL we are looking for. Copy this URL and go back to the code. And paste the URL here. Make sure you remove the S from HTTPS and your code is ready. Now I connect node MCU to my PC and select the board and port then hit the upload button. Now let's see the project in action. So that's it for this video guys, hope you liked the video, if so don't forget to click the like button and share this video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other just leave it in the comment section below or on my instagram page. Also don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you in the next video soon. Think amazing, be amazing.